Today it's all about Android TV boxes and I have a collection here of TV boxes that I'm going to go through each one um, pretty much do an unboxing of every one let's look at the ports, let's look at the features, let's look at the remote controllers um, and uh, also we'll look at the what the interfaces look like on the television screen as well um, so these are uh, a great set of uh, Android boxes um, I mean that's the the biggest thing today is Android boxes um, a lot of people now are just getting rid of their cable subscriptions and uh, you know they're getting unlimited internet packages and with the help of these Android boxes you can get all types of content streaming directly to your television set uh, via the internet um, and if you have your own media collection um, your videos personal videos uh, music these have USB ports on them so you can just hook your your media to these boxes and enjoy your content through your large screen television set that being said um, thank goes, thanks goes out to Gearbest uh, for uh, sending me this equipment to, to review and test out and show you guys uh, and as I always say in all of my videos all of the product reviews that I do there are links below the videos where you can actually get uh, these uh, these devices these gadgets um, usually at a discounted price so be sure to check out the links um, uh, below the video after the video um, and uh, also don't forget to like these videos if you like them please send me your comments and as well don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. So that being said, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six uh, reviews. So this video is going to be done in six parts. So if you're interested in watching all six, be sure to check the video links on the other side of the screen. I think it's on this side where you can actually just go to the other parts. Um, and you can also check out the playlist as well under um, Android TV Box. Okay, so let's start with this particular box um, let's see what's in box number one um, Android TV box so let's open the box and look at the goodies that are on the inside here so here we have the Android box module itself dubbed the R69 and um, we also have the power supply what else do we have what else do we have in here HDMI cable Remote control. And the user manual. So this is what you get in the box. Now this user manual, it's it is in it is in English. And it even has diagrams to show you all the steps to set up your box. And here's another language, it's German. And there's Spanish, and of course French. So it has a couple of languages, all in one nice neat little book. And here's the remote, pretty straightforward remote. Any Like any other typical remote, you have your, you know, your numeric keypad, back button, mute button, menu button, that's a left mouse click button, that's your back button, like the back button that you normally find on your Android phone, that's the same function there, the back key, home key there, and you have setup, apps, volume down, volume up, multicolored buttons, and then you have TV control along the top here, so here's where you set the set function, the TV in function, that's where you can actually set your TV in, uh, volume down and up and power button and another power button so one is for the box and the other one so this would be for the actual box which is this and then this would be you can actually you know program this to turn on and off your television and of course here we have our directional keypad and our 
OK master button right in the middle. And in the back, I'm guessing two triple A's. Now, my first observation with this, this thing is very light. It's like I don't even know if there's anything in here. So, uh, but that's that's a pretty pretty decent feature. Um, but it's lightweight. At the bottom here, as you can see, we have uh, these little slits here are for uh, ventilation, of course. All right, and along the side here, we have this nice green um, strip here. On the right hand side here, we have a USB port, and here we have our slot for a micro SD card. Now, with your micro SD card, obviously, that's where you can put on all of your media, all of your videos, and pictures, and music, and you can actually play them through this box, controlling it with this. Uh, uh, on your television or on your um, sound system. Here's our HDMI port. Here's our RJ45 port to connect to your home internet router. Um, um, I strongly, I mean, this does come with Wi-Fi, but if you can, uh, if you do have your, you know, your high-speed internet um, uh, connection set up and you have your router nearby, most modern routers do have a built-in four-port Ethernet switch. If you can, you know, especially if you're gonna be streaming a lot of content, um, you, know, um, you know, if you can have a wire connection between this and your um, your router, that's great. But if you can't, well, you know, Wi-Fi is pretty powerful as well. But that's why that they give you that RJ45 port for that um, additional functionality. Um, here's your second USB port, and of course, here's your power source. So you plug, of course, your trusty adapter. This piece here goes into here plug it into the wall and you're good to go now I'm actually gonna set this up uh, quickly and I'm going to use uh, of course connect to my internet my home internet via a wireless connection so of course when I do connect this up to the TV hook this up, hook this up via Wi-Fi and then just show you the uh, look and feel of the menu so to set it up it's very straightforward first I take my remote it didn't come with AAA batteries, so I got a fresh set here from the hardware store. So I'm going to put my batteries in the remote first. Like that. Next, I take my Android box. I'm going to plug in the power supply right here into this port. Now, I also, um, this is a, uh, one of my favorite portable keyboards. Um, it's actually a K830 Logitech. Um, they call this like a living room keyboard. So you, you can actually um, hook this up to your big screen TV, your set top box, and you can use the keyboard uh, right from your, your living room couch. So I actually, it does come with a little USB radio as well that connects to it. Now, seeing that this does have two USB ports, I'm going to connect this into any of the available ports right here. Um, now, I don't have any media on any micro SD cards, but if I did, I'll plug it in right here. So, I have the remote control with the batteries in. I have power going to the set the um, Android box, and I also hooked up a Bluetooth keyboard. Now, one more thing. My HDMI cable, the other end of this is connected to my big screen TV, so I'm just going to connect this into the HDMI port right here, just like that, and we are set up and we are good to go. Now let's go look at what it looks like on this TV screen. <laughs> so I had a bit of a technical snag, I forgot to charge up my um, keyboard. Now the K30 uh, from Logitech does come with a built-in battery. Um, and you can actually charge it by the USB port here, right here. So what I'm going to do anyway is uh, still use it. I'm just going to use my little portable juice box here to charge the, to, to provide power to the keyboard while I com complete this demo here. So this little gadget here, by the way, just on a side note, it's a 3000 mAh um, portable battery charger designed for small gadgets like cell phones, small tablets, and portable Bluetooth um, keyboards. Let me just use this. Oh, see, green light comes on, it's charging. So let me just use this. Oh, there you go, we have keyboard functionality. See, 
portable juice boxes, I call them. They always save the day. So of course, it looks like a Windows 10 interface with you know, multiple tiles, with different colors, um, and it's very easy to navigate. So of course, we have the KD Player logo over here, browser, apps, and these are like your you know basic general Android apps. You can access your music library here. That's your settings page over here. Um, access your video content right here, Google Store. And then here we have some other icons. Now, of course, this is our famous um, Netflix icon. This is uh, YouTube. And of course, you can add other applications. And anybody who owns an Android phone will recognize these three um, function keys at the bottom here. That's your home key, that's your back key. And this is where you can actually look at all of your um, active applications by the, you know in a tile like that right you see all your active applications there and on firefox here so firefox comes in pre-installed on this so of course you can install google chrome or uh, internet explorer you know whatever you're comfortable with okay so that's your internet access that's your your web page for browsing let's get out of that and then here's your pre-installed apps so there's file manager firefox google settings kd player music netflix play store all right so these come pre-installed of course you have youtube here you can check for system updates uh, i'm not going to press that because i'm sure i need i may need to update this because i just took it out the box and it's your settings tab there let's get out of that here in your music tile that's where you can add your music content it has kd player by default and you can actually add other um, music players and music apps settings it's in here that you can set up your wi-fi um, and this is pretty much the same look and feel as the um, uh, settings tab on your your android phone so nothing new there uh, google store go here and of course get all your android apps so right now let's get out of that because i don't i don't need to set up an account i'm sure you guys know how to do it yourself clean memory Whatever active or open applications that you have running uh, in the background, you know, are pretty much running on the, you know, RAM, right? Um, so if you need to free up some space in RAM, just go here. Right now it says that 44.1% of the onboard memory is being used for apps. So if I just press clean memory, it goes down from 41% to like 29.34. So it's deleted, you know, 11% worth of uh, active applications that were running and taking up 11%. Of, of RAM, so I just clean that off. Um, I mean, if I want to open those apps again, I just go back and run the apps, right? But this is a quick way to just clean memory, uh, free up some memory in your RAM. And of course, we have Netflix, YouTube, and uh, File Manager. Let's look at the File Manager. So here, pretty intuitive. So here's where you can actually see all of your memory. So local memory, network neighborhood, NFS share. So if you were to put in a net, um, an external memory uh, micro SD card in here you would see it come up here as well you can click on that and so if I clicked on local memory for example I can see all of my, my subdirectories um, again if I had my external card it could be a memory stick because I actually have you know two USB ports so I can actually put in my memory stick uh, in one of those ports and access all my content and hey you know if you don't worry about running out of ports um, it comes with two USB ports but if you need more you can simply get a cheap um, four port or a six port um, with mini um, USB hub. So let's look at the um, KD player. I think this is very, this is the most exciting piece. Uh, of. Here's where you can actually set up and get access to a lot of online content, uh, streaming videos, online TV channels, uh, all kinds of stuff off the web. Now most of these Android boxes, there's a lot out there on the web that there's a lot of Android boxes on the market today that don't come with any you know, any channels pre-installed, but this actually has a couple, there's four of them right here. Um, so you can actually go into these and get direct access to um, live TV shows, TV content, movies. Um, and then if you go to system, here's where you can actually configure your parents, uh, can manage your, your video library, um, you can configure your television settings, um, music, pictures, you can uh, configure your weather widget as well, right? And everything here. 
and uh, yeah, so that's a pretty cool review of the, this is the R69, uh, and by the way, check the links below this uh, video uh, to find out where you can actually get these. Uh, these are very, very affordable, I kid you not. Um, I'm not going to tell you the price. If you want to find out, check the link and you'll see, and you will see that I am correct when I say that these are definitely not expensive. Um, what's really good about it is that the interface is very, very self-intuitive. It's easy to understand, easy to navigate, nice big colored tiles. You can access your Android apps, your music library, your personal video library, You can uh, and, and it's Android based. So like Android apps that normally run on your phone, you can play them on here. So if you have your favorite Android games, you can play them on here. Um, and speaking of games, this does have USB interfaces, so if you have a gamepad with a USB radio, you can connect it in here and you can play games and everything too and have like an online video game system. My favorite app on here, of course, is the KD Player. It actually comes with a couple of pre-installed um, channels already configured. You just go into those channels and you can get immediate access to a lot of cool content on the web. That's one of the big pluses of this uh, this. Uh, device um, and you know setting it up to Wi-Fi in the house is very simple it's the same the same way you would set up your phone to access your personal Wi-Fi it's the same thing I just did just now and last but not least it does come with a really cool remote um, so you can actually um, use the remote to uh, navigate and turn on and off the TV me personally um, you can use it but I personally would use my Use a really uh, keyboard, um, Bluetooth keyboard, um, and even better if you can get a, a combination Bluetooth keyboard and trackpad and mouse buttons all in one, that's even better, right? And this again is the Logitech K830. Um, uh, they call this the living room keyboard. It has backlit keys, uh, chiclet, chiclet um, style keys. Um, I did, I do have a review of this as well, so you can just check it out on my channel. Um, but yeah, this is a uh, really great for, um, you know, sitting down on the couch and, you know, browsing through the uh, apps and your content on your Android box. That's it. So that's the end of part one in the series, a six part series where we look at six really cool Android boxes. Um, thanks to Gearbest uh, for sending me this, uh, these boxes to review and um, check the links below if you want to find out more from, uh, what these guys have to offer when it comes to these Android boxes. So until next time, until part two, you guys take care. Bye bye. Hey everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that and that will take you to our website www.redtechbot.com. When you get on that site, there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter and when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways and by tech giveaways these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away uh, and these are some examples there's other stuff as well um, and the good news is you you know you just have to enter your email address once and you know it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw um, and we will use that email address, of course, to, to contact the winner, to tell them, hey, you've won something. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's really cool. And, of course, the newsletter will have, you know, you know updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know, what's coming up next, um, you know, new stuff uh, in the industry, and even information on, on future giveaways, right? So it's really, 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 really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is, on this side on the screen here, up here, on my left, uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now, by subscribing, of course, you will be you know at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be you know subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day. Bye.